Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Uh, what a wonderful day today. I hope that wherever you are, you are having the greatest, greatest day of your life. Uh, maybe you're not. Maybe things are really going bad for you. Well, you know what? Right there where you are, bow your heart and say, God, I really need help. I really need you to touch my life. I want to talk to you today about actions. And here's the thing I want you to think about. Think about the future before you act in the present. Galatians chapter 6 says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If he reaps to the flesh, he will of the flesh reap corruption. If he sows to the Spirit, he will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Now, that can really be troubling because some of us did some crazy, crazy things in our sowing of the wild life. Uh, someone told me about a guy who went out and sowed his wild oats and then prayed for a crop failure. Well, this scripture says, don't be deceived. What you sow in your life, you will reap. Well, is that good news? It is good news if you're like me because after I realized that and I wanted to have a different harvest, well, what did I do? If, I wanted, if, if you've been sowing one kind of seed and it's going to produce this harvest, but you want a different harvest, what are you going to do? You're going to move over here and start sowing different seed. Different seed produces a different harvest. So true if you sow to the flesh, you will of the flesh reap corruption. And corruption means that it will be decayed. There will be a time that you will have outgrown that harvest. And you begin, if you've planted then seeds of spiritual nature, you will, as you conclude that harvest of the wild life, you begin to move into the harvest of the spirit. And the good news to me, as far as uh, Galatians chapter 6, is verse 10. Verse 9 and 10, it says, So, don't grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Do you see that it ends in positive? It, it, it tells you, don't sow to the flesh, because you will love the flesh and reap corruption. It, it does say, sow to the Spirit, because of the Spirit you will reap everlasting life. And that you don't have to die to get that. You start reaping it in this life because he said because he says don't grow weary in well doing for in due season we will reap if we faint not so don't faint today on doing good stop planting seeds of the flesh start planting seeds of the spirit and you will reap of the spirit life everlasting well have a wonderful day until we meet again